What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. This will be for Sunday, the 9th of August, 2020. I hope you're ready for more madness. What a crazy week. As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find everything I'm going to give you here. Let's start off with, it is what it is. Trump in an interview on COVID-19, the death toll. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Trump on COVID-19 vaccine may be ready right around the right around election day, he's saying. I know Joe Biden's talking about, well, that vaccine might not be safe. I was kind of surprised to hear that. Even if there's a vaccine, pandemic may persist for years to come. Oh, I definitely will because it's a big idea, a new world order. COVID-19 conspiracy theories creating a public health crisis in Canada, experts say. Of course it is because, you know, those crazy conspiracy people. Sobering report shows hardening attitudes against the media. No, I don't believe it. Would it have anything to do with the fact that the American people and people around the world can see right through your bullshit? CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. In fact, CNN ran a piece uh, just yesterday. Biker rally expects 250,000 people, but not requiring masks. And Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon, they were all talking crap about the bikers. I got an idea, Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper. Why don't you go down there and tell it to their face? You see, these aren't people who give a damn about your New World Order rules and bullcrap. Go tell bikers they need to put on a mask. That'd be entertaining to watch. Other news going on. Up 134%. Gun sales soar again in July amid pandemic. Not really have much but the pandemic. I think more of just the unrest everywhere. 636 out of 50 largest cities experienced double-digit rise in homicides in 2020. Yes. If, you, if you're not able to defend yourself at this point, people, you had better get ready quick because when shit really goes down, the police aren't going to be there to help you. Minneapolis police, ask people in Minneapolis, tell residents to obey criminals, be prepared to be robbed. I'll put a link to that. No police, no delivery. Trucking company owner tells Fox News his drivers won't deliver to defunded cities. Right on. Didn't think about that one, did you, all you people who want to abolish the police? Air India, we got other news going on this week. Air India flight... Uh, uh, from Dubai with 191 passengers on board, land, crash lands at their airport over there. There were some pictures. I know there's some other articles out there. I'll put a link to this. A few people got killed in that. And in election news, I got, uh, here are 40 reasons why Joe Biden, the open sexual predator, should never become president. Here's the thing. if you, For all of you Joe Biden fans, if there's any on my channel, I doubt it. But if you want to scroll through this article and just check out some of this stuff. Oh, he's just a loving and affectionate guy. No, he's a sick pervert who likes to put his hands all over little kids. Over to financial news, how the U.S. stock index has fared on Friday. Looks like the Dow Jones rose 46 points on Friday. For the week, the Dow gained over 1,000 points, 3.8% up. I'll put a link to the market recap data. Nothing makes any sense. Gold futures soar, 2,050 silver nears 27. Article from Zero Hedge. U.S. adds 1.8 million jobs in July amid coronavirus pandemic, so we're getting a few jobs back. Do you think it's a recovery? 40 million Americans, however, at risk of eviction without stimulus bill. Yes, all week this week they were, you know, going back and forth about this bill and everybody left with nothing done. Uh, Democrats and Trump officials had productive meeting but still don't have a coronavirus relief bill. Trump's supposed to sign an executive order or something. He might do that before I get this video up. Uh, Trump takes golf vacation amid stalled stimulus negotiations, but he's still on the job. He's still, I think he's going to do a... A thing on the news here shortly. Uh, Walmart's mass layoff could be canary in the coal mine. Be advised, Walmart laying off a lot of people. We got one third of U.S. restaurants face permanent closure this year. One third. Think about it. one third of all restaurants in the U.S. The Fed is planning to send money directly to Americans in the next crisis. Of course they are. Right to your microchip. I'll put a link to this from Zero Hedge. Shut it down again. Top Fed Reserve calls for a really hard lockdown lasting four to six weeks to save the economy. Not making it up. Unbelievable. In new interview, Bobby Kennedy Jr. claims Dr. Fauci will make millions on coronavirus vaccine and owns half the patent. Of course, that's why there's an all-out war on. I won't say it because I don't want to be banned. I'll just put a link to the article here. There's no money in the cure. The money's in the medicine. Chris Rock, years ago. Let's segue into New World Order and police state news. Did you see this? And this is where I'm going to stop and ask you to share this video. And thumbs it up or thumbs it down if you hate it, whatever. But just share it because people need to be aware of this stuff. Los Angeles. Los Angeles to shut off water and power to party houses. Any any houses where there's any gatherings in Los Angeles, can they legally do that? I'll put a link to it. De Blasio announces, now pay attention, coronavirus quarantine checkpoints at major entry points into NYC. Go watch the Gray State trailer again, people. It is really happening. $100 fine for gatherings of three or more on sidewalks, banned in D.C. suburb, blah, blah, blah. More fines. 
down in Houston, $250 fine if you're not wearing a mask, be advised. Melbourne cops may now enter homes without warrant after 11 people die of COVID. Australia, this is madness, not democracy. Show me your papers. Do you mind if I come in? We're coming in anyway. Sage experts warn pubs could have... Now look at this. But This is out of the UK. Pubs could have to shut down its trade-off to let schools reopen next month. As it's revealed, police have, have, have warned the army might have to be called in to quell social unrest over lockdowns. Again, watch the Gray State trailer. It is happening, people. Gateway Pundit says federal government and Yale holding clinical trials on how best to persuade Americans to take COVID-19 vaccines. Oh, I bet they are. It's about compliance, not the science. Virginia officials demand students get vaccinations to participate in online learning from home. <laughs> what? Article from Natural News. Bill Gates, you don't have a choice. Normalcy only returns after we largely vaccinate the entire population of planet Earth he's talking about. I'll put a link to this. Did he say that? Yes, he did. Red flag soars. Big Pharma. A lot of people aren't aware of this. Big Pharma will be exempt from COVID-19 vaccine liability claims. If you let them shoot poison into your body and it damages you in any way, you have no legal recourse. There's nothing you could do. You just have to live with it. 2020 Democratic Party platform declares total war on the Second Amendment. And this is interesting because just this week, my local media here in St. Louis put this out. No mass shootings in U.S. since pandemic started. What about once it's over? See, it's all about the programming. They're already getting your mind conditioned for the all-out assault on the Second Amendment that's coming. Let's head over to World War III news. Beirut blast likely accidental, but Hezbollah activities, activities at the port under scrutiny. If you did not see the Beirut blast... My heart, my thoughts go out to everybody who's been killed and injured because of this thing. I got a couple more links. External infrastructure through rocket or bomb or other act possible cause of Beirut blast. You know, this wasn't like the Chinese, the Tangian explosion from a few years ago. Remember that? That one was a bigger explosion in terms of uh, the fireball. That was a chemical explosion. What happened in Beirut looked more like an atomic bomb. The shock wave that came out of that. If you haven't seen it, head over to my favorites. I got several videos over there. I don't know what happened there, but... Man, oh man. Netanyahu warned the United Nations of Iranian missile stockpiles in Beirut in 2018. Speaking of Netanyahu, Israel strikes Syrian military targets in Damascus. IDF calls it response to failed border attack. I got another one from RT. Syria says U.S. stealing oil after American energy firm signs deal with Kurdish rebels. Um, we got one more. Multiple bomb blast at jail compound in Afghanistan. One killed, 20 injured. Iran news. We got Iran accidentally sinks fake aircraft carrier in the wrong place. <laughs> from Forbes. Oh my God. Officials say Saudi Arabia expands its nuclear program with the help of China. That'll be one to keep an eye on. U.S. imposes sanctions on Hong Kong's chief uh, and other Chinese officials that one day ago from RT. We got Stars and Triton. Now look at this. Army Guard begins to reorganize force into eight divisions to prepare for possible fights with Russia and China. World War III alert on that one, people. Um, we got Indian Navy ramps up deployment of warships in Indian Ocean amid border tensions with China. And we got one more. Scotland Yard Operation Blackjack hit this week. Scotland Yard's counterterrorism chief warns of new attack on London is likely after after the lockdown. Or in other words, it'll be business as usual. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news. Now, I got the earthquake set up for six point and above for the past week. We had a 6-3 at the Prince Edward Islands, another one on the Venetia Islands. I'll put a link to the uh, earthquake data if you kick this down to five. There's been a lot of five points around the world. Nothing too big on earthquakes this week, not a lot on volcanoes that I saw. I'll put a link to that. Uh, this week, the aftermath of the hurricane that went up the East Coast, two million still without power across the Northeast, at least 12 tornadoes confirmed. A lot of damage. I'll put a link to this if you scroll down. They got videos. A lot of damage. My thoughts to my friends on the East Coast. Apple Fire vehicle malfunction caused blaze that burned 42 square miles of North uh, California. Fire investigators say, I don't know, earthquake, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, vehicle malfunction or uh, asteroid. I got a lot of asteroid news. Check this out. Now, this is being reported as a lightning strike. China horror, huge fireball explosion above Chinese city sparks doomsday panic. But if you pull it up and watch the video, I mean, it does, it almost, I mean, I can't prove that there's an asteroid impact. I, I have no proof of this. There, there's all kinds of stories now about fires and, you know, the thing in Beirut, although I watched a couple videos where it looked like there was a rocket flying in that looked like it might have been edited in. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a lot of explosions and fires going on. We got massive fire breaks out at a market uh, and it's somewhere else over there, UAE reports. I mean, look at this. Are these bits and pieces of little, you know, stuff coming into our atmosphere? Splashdown. I thought this was very strange because we haven't seen this in, what, 40-something years? Splashdown. Asteroids aboard SpaceX capsule make water landing in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, 
something right out of the Apollo movies, huh? I don't know. Are they abandoning the space station because something's coming in? Uh, here's something else to look at. And I, I want to segue into an asteroid thing, and I want to exp just want to say that this is only my opinion. This is only my opinion. I have no proof that anything's coming. But have you noticed all of the celebrities and higher-ups who have been tested positive for COVID? Is this so that they could be taken underground? You know, are, the, are these people that might have a spot in the dumb somewhere? There's a lot of high-up people that got the COVID. I don't know if you noticed that, but politicians and actors and actresses and, you know, athletes, all kinds of people, you're thinking, no way. I'll put a list of all, I mean, even Pink. There's Pink right there. I hear uh, Alyssa Milano's got it. Yeah, I put a list. This is a long list. If you want to go through and just take a look at all of the, all of the, all of the somebodies in the world that have the COVID, I'll just put it that way. We got strange stories like this. Guacamole maker explodes, killing former mayor. A guacamole, what? <laughs> Are these cover stories to get these people out of the light? Because look at this. NASA and FEMA conduct asteroid impact emergency planning exercise. This is from November 4th. 2016. This is on NASA's website. And if you scroll down here, you will see, let me see if I can find it here. Look at this. They were planning for an impact event on September 20, 2020. Now, is that a hell of a coincidence that we have a pandemic going on right now? Again, just speculation. I got other news though. Mystery is a bizarre 15 foot creature with flippers and fur washed up on the beach. Uh, what is that? It's a result of all the radiation we've dumped in the ocean uh egypt tells elon musk the pyramids were not built by the aliens that but he's you know he's like i'm going to mars screw this place elon musk says mars looking real after spacex launches and lands spaceship craft i don't know people i don't mean to alarm anyone but just over the past couple weeks i have seen a ton of asteroid stories head over to my twitter feed there's another link over there that i don't even have in the report uh mysterious fires everywhere buildings exploding i mean Keep an eye out in the, in the coming weeks for, for more of this kind of news because it could be little fragments coming in. I mean, I don't know. It would certainly make sense that if there was something about to hit the earth, they would need a good cover story, and they have it with the COVID. Anyway, over to strange and bizarre news, speaking of the COVID, we got people acting crazy everywhere. Crazy couple throws hot coffee on guy for not wearing a mask. They call the cops and play victim. I'll put a link to this. We got Toronto man has meltdown, destroys glass glass display after confronting maskless pizza shop customer this man knocked over all these innocent pizzas i demand justice we got man shoot store clerk after mask requirement then fires on seven police officers with ak-47 now that's not very smart the sun says road rage horrifying moment drunk lift passenger rips down the plastic partition and chokes the driver i'll kill you i'll put a link to that we got mcdonald's child allegedly chokes on pieces of mask and chicken nuggets be advised if you're eating at mcdonald's you might want to watch your fast food everywhere burger king employee killed after woman complains about long drive through line <sighs> I don't like the wait either, but you can't be killing people. Fox News says Texas City Commissioner killed in gun battle with police. What's that about? I'll put a link to that. We got Florida man clings to the hood of big truck. Driver says he lost it. Yeah, no doubt. He's going down the highway. Let me in a chuck! Put a link to that. Naked man blocking traffic gets knocked out by fed up driver. Uh, they're playing the wrong video there. I probably already loaded and it's playing the next. I hate autoplay videos when they play the next video. I'll decide if I want to watch the next video. You don't even want to put it like that. Truck drove through Antifa protesters with a motorcycle pinned under its front after Ryder smashed his, slashed his tires, tried to attack him. Oh, I don't know if you saw this. You got to pull it up and check out this video of this truck driving sparks everywhere just outright madness in portland uh, i think this is another one out of portland video as anti-cop antifa militant repeatedly cries out for someone to call the police after woman appeared uh to be harassing stabs one of them so you know you know f the police and then get the police can't have it both ways council can bulldoze contaminated homes and cr and crush cars as a last resort under new laws to stop second wave of coronavirus be advised this is out of the uk they're going to bulldoze your home and crush your car like it's freaking grand theft auto something and for all other news please check my favorites there's all kinds of stuff over here the show me baby just put a good one out check out his video got a video of the air india plane we got the beirut explosion several videos if you've not seen that i uh, got the, the the fireball over china that split that building in half high-rise building just like melted 
by lightning? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, all kinds of stuff. Thank you to everybody who continues to put out content. There's all kinds of fresh news over there. Please check them out. Does it seem like this one's going on forever? I'm just a little more talkative today. I don't know. Anyway, I got a couple shout outs. Not really a shout out the first one. I just wanted to make people aware because 9-11 first responders are forgotten about so conveniently. 9-11 first responders at increasing risk of cognitive disorders, Stony Brook studies say. Uh, you know, it's sad, but it's true, and I just wanted to throw some love out there to the first responders of 9-11 and say, uh, you're not forgotten about around here. You know, it's absolutely disgraceful the way you've been treated by the government over the years, not being able to pay your medical bills and going homeless, and now they're having, you know. So, much love, FDNY, NYPD, Port Authority, anybody who was involved in 9-11, uh, first response. And shout out to New Jersey gym owners who were arrested for defying shutdown kick down government installed barriers to reopen hell yes give them hell shout out to those guys that's all i got for this week guys if you like to report please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think it sucked it's the worst of youtube you never want to see again please rate the video though it helps move around you can also follow me on uh bit shoot uh Twitter, Gab, Facebook, all my links are always at the bottom. And if you like these reports and want to throw me some support, you could support me on Patreon or you could follow me over there for free, another place to follow me, or you could send me something directly with PayPal. I definitely appreciate any support as this is a 100% demonetized channel by YouTube. Screw YouTube. We'll support each other, I say. What's coming in the next week? More asteroids? Well, that's my speculation. More uh, just mysterious fires and explosions, maybe. You know, we got to, we're coming close to the election. Joe Biden hasn't picked a running mate yet. Does it feel like an election year to anyone else? It totally does not feel like an election year to me because we haven't had any of the, I mean, there's no debates, there's nothing. It's, it's, it's honestly like we're coming toward the end of something. Does anyone else feel that or is it just me? Like, I don't want to say end of days or end times, but holy crap people there's we are standing on the edge we on the precipice or something very big about to happen that's all i that's, that's i feel it so much so my my i feel it in my being that something big is just around the corner and we're just standing right on the cliff of course i'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist though tell me your thoughts you guys take care stay safe have a good week i will see you on the next one